Hello everybody, this is Birch, and I am going to be doing another live game recording thing. We got we got some supports. Oh, I'm about to break 5100 again if we win. Back up on the up and up. So we have about 80 MMR advantage over our opponents, which is pretty good. Do I feel like playing that as a yep, I'm on a I'm on a counter pick to be a bastard. Hello. So Lion has a very, very good advantage versus Medusa, and that's that mana drain drains 120 mana per second. And because every mana point translates to 2.5 damage, if you just pick Lion and you max mana drain, she ends up being a worthless hero. And I've actually even seen this in a pro game. Because you're basically doing 2.5 times that 120 in terms of damage. So if you multiply that by two and a half, it's it's like 600 damage per second or something like that, somewhere around there. 625 damage per second, basically, being done to your opponent. Is that right? 120 times 2 is 240, plus half of that, which is 60. I guess it's 300. 300 damage per second, which is amazing for a mana drain. Um, so a mana drain is really, really good against Medusa. Uh, ooh, they have a silencer, though. I might have to get myself a Yules this game. Um, that makes the game a lot harder. They have very good casters. I actually haven't played Lion in a really long time. That's what it feels like, at least. Maybe I made a video of him recently, but if not, too bad. Because, damn it, we need videos while I'm in Germany. Oh my god, come on. One of these days, I'm gonna finish my... I got some uh, poster frames at Target. Upon recommendation from my girlfriend, and we're gonna put them up eventually. But I haven't done it yet. Maybe when I get back. Uh, just need another. Oh yeah, that's right. He's mid. Anti mage very good versus Medusa very good versus Storm. They have a Bloodseeker, but we've got decent disables. Actually, we have we have a super good lineup. I think. I'm quite happy with this. Tango. I've got, I can give you one. Or you can take whatever you gave to him. Yeah, I think you should take some of his back. Yeah, dude. His name is not right. Alright, so I almost always go or spike level 1. The disable is good enough now. It's a one second disable. Should probably check to see if we have a block. Mm, Bloodseeker? Swords and Sense on the Rubik. He's taking all the tangos after all. I want to see if he's coming over here to ward or something like that. But I doubt it, so I'll just put the ward down and run. Gotta make sure I don't block the camp as it spawns at 30 seconds. And other than that, I'm a okay to party. I'll do the first pull, and then uh, you can pull after that. Because then your burn will be on cooldown. Did not block. Sick blood rage. They have a dual lane, so we're gonna crap on them really hard because we have a super strong dual lane or tri lane. Let's say beat dual lanes basically. If you guys are having problems dealing with people that are dual laning you, the best solution is to just simply tri lane them. It's not always something you can do though. Getting some last hits is recommended. It's 
actually good for him to leave though. Like he should realize that he's about to get crapped on. Oops, this is gonna be late. Got it. Ooh, that was close. Really should get that last hit. Don't believe I'm gonna be able to really kill that, so I'm just gonna resume the pulling. So I didn't really show this in uh, that coaching video that I made, but I usually pull the creep wave when it's between these trees about here. So when I do it, and that usually seems to work just fine. And I'm just missing all the last hits today. Missed it. So then you kind of have to attack a lot. I'm also going to walk over and stack the Wildkin. stack it to the right, which is not really something that is done very often, but should work. Let's just dive him. Easy kill. Nice, he's even got mana. And a TP. That's just strength gained, obviously. Let's kill this camp. You know what, I'm gonna leave him there, because we can actually... Oh shit, I can pull through with this. Now because I walk through it, I have to start moving as soon as the pull should be started. I could use the tango here, but I'm gonna wait to use it here, that way it extends our pull timing later. Or maybe doing a little bit too much pulling. Could roam mid, for example. But I think it's gonna be fine. Do you want this bounty run, or should I grab it? We're gonna be pushing now. Uh, I'm gonna go wrap around. Normally I should have my boots already, but I've been spending so much time in the jungle, I'll just wrap. I should probably have like an extra 5 CS. It's a pretty big mistake there. But So wrapping around is something that's not done quite as often as it used to be, because it's a little bit more dangerous, but it's definitely something we can do in this case. Because all I'm basically doing is waiting for the setup. If we see a hero, we're going to kill the creep wave, we're going to have a triple creep wave here. There's a hero. behind and it's a super super easy kill now we can just kind of retreat the other cool thing about this is that Rubik is dead while all these creeps are dying so even if you do do a push from it you can basically guarantee that Ooh, I don't know if we're gonna make the pull Let's see if I can make the pull I think I'll be up there about on time basically the goal is that you will I lost my clarity, but that's okay. Um, that you prevent him from getting the experience as well. So he was going to get like a level or two out of that. Instead, he's still level three. And we get the experience and we get the gold. All very nice to have. This one's going to be a little bit tough. I don't think I can get that last hit safely. Because the HP of the creeps got a little bit weird. So I'll just do the safer version. I'm going to mana drain this too while the pole connects. I'm 
pretty much giving Intermage full free farm, full gold. One thing we should probably be doing is maybe ganking for mid. Ooh. Oh god, I still got it. Do you want to do the large canoe? Ah, it doesn't matter, I guess. Here's the blitzes. Doing a nice job. Really shouldn't be missing these, so... Okay, he's just literally killing everybody. Should have a TP, I think. That's my fault. I can get past this creep wave, but I just need this catapult to die. I might have shown there. Might also show here. Just I'm gonna spend some time over here. Can roam to mid from this way. If they saw me by the tower, I doubt that they'll anticipate me being. I'm gonna go. part is that I run away pretty early, take just a little bit of tower damage, but not too much. Storm steeping. It's going top for the rune, so that means I can snag this one. And I'm going to try to make this pull. I can actually guarantee it if I just go like here. Pretty much all comes down to efficiency here. Basically went from a little bit of pressure bot, nobody was there, shifted mid, got a kill off. As soon as I get back, I continue my next pull. Maybe if, oops, I actually wanted to go the mana drain build, I meant to this game. We're getting some slight inefficiency because we're constantly splitting the experience two ways. But it's fine. Okay. Probably, you know, I am actually going to attack this a lot. Oh no. Man, I keep missing last hits. I really should have almost a blink dagger, I feel. Put a sentry down. I'm going to come for the push. We don't have a catapult, unfortunately, but... We should just pressure the tower right now. We have a big push. I'm gonna start slowly auto attacking. And I feel pretty f comfortable moving past the tower too, just because my disables are strong. They're gonna know that I'm over here is a little scary, but it's just a storm really. If they had something like a pudge, maybe I'd be worried, but they don't quite have it. Let's roam through secret shop to uh, now maybe we'll be spotted. I think, yeah. Easy kill. We'll also clear the That's okay. We're pressuring them very hard. So, do you want this bounty? dagger relatively fast. Being a little greedy because I haven't bought any support items for a while, but I shift over to take that just to get a little bit faster blink dagger. 
I would have it right now, I think, if I if I last hit better against the neutrals. You wanna take the problem or lie? Oh uh, yeah, just let me finish my blink and then I'll buy shit. Yeah, cool. We maybe are standing in one lane for too much. I'm missing some HP and I'm missing a lot of mana. It would take me a lot of mana points to get there. My next kill should... I think I would need plus one to kill the Dusa. Her HP is a little high. She's gone a couple stat levels. 800. I could... If I get one TP, I can easily kill her. Two hundred, eight hundred. I'm gonna need about. I need one percent of TP top, and it's an easy kill. Oh shit, you guys are busy. Anti mage, can you TP top? We can kill Dusa really easy. Anyone? I need literally like. Oh shit. You gotta. You can't do it like that, man. Like. You're gonna TP, say something, and then I can just blink on her. Stay here, let's see if we can kill her. Like, that was so badly done by the amp. All he literally had to do is let me blink in his shape. And then it's a kill. It's that simple. At least now I can back him up on the top lane. Like, that is basically gonna be our goal here. So I sit behind the AM, and if anyone shows up, we get kills. So oh, she actually went bot. Storm went bot. So now there's probably no reason for me to actually be here. Feel. So I'm gonna TP bot. Let's see if somebody stays. So that's basically what you should be doing with your faster blink dagger. And then now I start buying all the other items that I basically greeted upon. I need a little bit more mana I think, so I'm going to approach the wave and get some mana. I have to be a little careful about this, because if storm comes I get kind of dicked. I have enough for two stuns though. Oh, he died, damn. If he gets ruptured, he's pretty much dead. I should definitely be mid in case they go to death. Now. I've got a long time until I get my next spell. Move it in the jungle, their jungle. I'm coming. We can fight them. So I should probably watch for storm disengages. What is this? Pudge. Pudge just stayed. That's the easiest kill. Got way too scared there. You can take it in. Go ahead. There's the storm. I'm shifting to storm. Okay. 
global down. Fortunately, I'm missing a lot of HP right now. Really need my clear or my tranquil boots. But we wasted their global, which is really good. Now we can shift up here, pressure their safe lane. I'll just send a position where I can help if needed. Which is about over here, but you usually don't want to be within vision. Just in trees like this is good. Might as well drain the mana while I'm here. So Tranquil Boots and Wand on the way. And I basically just sit back and wait to disable Storm Spirit. We probably could have killed him. If I would have stunned instantly as well, there's a higher chance we would have gotten him there. But I think they're very wise to split push at this point. Because they know that they can't really fight us very well. So. That's nah, gone. Uh, let's try to set up on Storm. That's what I probably should have done. I should recognize that they're not defending. So I'll shift to try to kill Storm Spirit. But he's going to go south now because he's anticipating us coming from the top lane. Even me being here is a bit weird. I would rather stay off the map, I think. They're probably farming our jungle at the moment. Alright, next item I'm going to need um, some survivability against either Storm or Silences. Let's see who's coming in. Storm is there. The haste on. I'm pretty sure I got him. But I don't feel very safe right now. They could very easily jump on me. And I wouldn't be able to do anything about it. Global. Well, I lost my mana now. That was a really bad fight. We were kind of split there. I went on the the two heroes to the south, and everybody else went on different heroes. If I, I mean, I kept the storm out of the fight, but I don't really feel like I did the right thing there. That felt weird. Silencer's Curse of the Silence is also leveled up, and they also had Global Silence, which makes that a lot harder. I can, like... Went on their back line. We were kind of split there, I think. Let's go kill that Medusa. Okay. She's not quite full on HP. The storm's there, so it's a little scary, but... Well, Might have also just retreated. use that but felt like I kind of had to yeah she was farming here all right now things get kind of tough because he's got his orchid they're doing a nice job this game despite their disadvantage I think shouldn't be showing here. I'll try to set up for bottom. I'm late though. 
He's probably gonna die here. I'm fucking stuck. Wow, I got so stuck there. That was really well done by them. Alright, we are becoming outplayed. There's a lot more heroes there than we thought. Actually does kind of force buybacks. They did a great job this game so far. Game's definitely still winnable by us, but considering the advantage we had, it shouldn't have gotten to this. Once we lost this team fight, we basically got to this point. This is a big mistake. He's just fucking dead. Oh my God. We're gonna get waxed at 22 minutes. I mean, our pudge is pretty bad and worthless, but. It's not worth it for just a Rex. Alright, now we gotta start ganking a lot. Yep. I mean, we've been moving a little bit, but it's, it's tough. Gotta smoke on the courier. I mean, we were looking for a core, but we didn't find him, that's all. This is good to do, just ganking with like two heroes, three heroes, kind of a thing. Storm's way up on the top lane. So we're going to put an Observer Ward down. Should have checked his mana. That's my bad. He was kind of low HP. It was a level two finger, but he just he did have enough. I should have checked his mana. Yeah, the the pudge went on that Dusa and she was low. I should have stayed with you though. Right, I should have stayed. I, I shouldn't have gone on the Dusa. I basically should just ignore what the Pudge is doing, I think. Because I don't think he's making good decisions. I just, I should have looked at her mana. I assumed it was lower than it was. I fingered her and didn't kill her. And then we were screwed. We got four mana drains at least, so I can drain the shit out of our mana, but... Why does he fucking miss those hooks? Silly storm comes, I'm dead. Alright, we're good. Do we want to fight? Storm's got so much mana. He's got 1600. I've got a finger. Seeker. I probably should have fingered earlier, maybe. I got a good stun, but they did take a little bit less damage. Okay. And I'm really close to my Yules, so and I'm in a much safer place. I can avoid problems a little bit better. Still did get raxed at <laughs> 20 minutes, but... 
Yeah, that was that was a really good old fishing. I hope those shield it. Should go set up for a top. That's where there's gonna be a kill. I'm gonna start moving top. Do you wanna go up there to farm? Maybe we can get a kill. Well. It's important to be proactive like this to predict the map a little bit. Instead, I would have gone to a large camp and like farmed or something. Like that doesn't accomplish anything. It's better for me to sit up here and sit behind a core. That way we can get a kill on an important tier like Storm Spirit or something like that. Although there are a lot of people mid, so catching somebody might actually be very difficult. That's really unfortunate. Just cover you from the guys. Oh, that guy's really fucked. I'm in global, so I can't do fucking anything. I don't know what the fuck that does. Is that a mana? She's actually really farmed now. Hmm. Well, we got the storm. But... God, we have so many wards. I don't know what the heck we got smoked for. That was a fucking waste of a smoke by Pudge. It's 20, it's 30 minutes in and Pudge only has Tranquil, so like, if we lose this game, it's pretty on him, I think. I'm gonna go put a ward down over by Roche, because that's likely gonna be where they move to in a moment. Come here, come here. See if I can lead this guy up. I can lead him off. Okay, I wasn't the only one going there. I should have realized that that was very stupid of me. I don't think that was very, very wise without finger. I believe I've been shit talked, but I don't know what that means. 35 seconds, we got Manta on Ember. Deuce has got a lot of items. It's gonna be a Lincoln's most likely to stop things like hexes. And Will was so far ahead, but we just kept losing team fights. Glimmer Kate might not be bad at me either, honestly. More glimmers is never gonna be a bad thing. Or force staff to save Ember Spirit. If he's in a bad spot, I can always force him high ground. We do see that guy's farming at least. So we know that. Do you guys wanna go in like somebody mid? Bloodseeker. Yeah. 
some reason rush good. Just let him die. Move to mid with him in case somebody shows up, because they're probably gonna. Sounds like makes things so tough. I, I don't really find value in farming right now. I'd rather stay vaguely close to where there might be a kill. He probably has Lincoln soon too. Be careful. Make sure we check his items. Go back because they're about to push. Oh wait, he went butterfly instead. Oh wait, that was a different here. Still has not really accomplished anything with this hero. But oh no, I didn't even see Kusa. Well, I fucked up. Space created. Well, I think we lost this game. I think our Pudge is completely useless and they have very good heroes. And I think I could have... Maybe we shouldn't let them take free towers or something like that. Something like that, but... Our anti mage, I feel like... He, he does get countered by global sounds and stuff. Like losing... We just lost like two fights really badly and all of a sudden they, we just lost the game, kind of. God, he's even got refresher. I have not felt so stomped in a game that I was stomping before in a long time, but we just lost those team fights and Medusa got stupidly ahead and she outfarms all of our carries, so that's pretty much. Not wrong. Put one of these over here, that way you can spot heroes that are potentially going there. I'm gonna shift to the top lane, see if we can get a kill on a farming storm. I still have finger. Buyback is more important than items at this point, so. Okay, maybe it was the bloodstone, maybe I'm just crazy. Too close to lane because he might. Nice. His kills are really big. More kills like that, and we win. Almost 16, so my ultimate will be on a much lower cooldown. Oh, it still reduces bloodstone charges, that's pretty big. It's like... That's real. Oh. Space created and shit. I really kinda need to go Scepter. I feel. So now I got my ult down to a 40 second cooldown. <laughs> Should I do a glimmer cape? Oh, that's really unfortunate. That sucks, dude. We've 
we gotta do a smoke setup for them. They're gonna push up. It's time. Let's engage them outside our base when they're not all together. Come, come, come. We're smoking. Gotta wrap around and fight them really fast. They warded. Oh, okay. It's a value splinter blast. Okay. Well, that's uh, quite the depressing loss. I don't think we should have lost this game. I think those like two team fights just went so poor. And that's that's pretty much all it took to lose the game. Just throw two team fights, five for nothing, and boom, they've got a Medusa and a bunch of other really strong team fight heroes. We basically needed to like punch hook a good hero like Silencer before he global silence, and that was like the only way we were gonna win fights as soon as things got even or we were behind. So, wow, we lost twenty nine for that too. Uh, our punch was thirty five hundred. That makes a lot of sense. Makes a whole lot of sense. All right.